Hello guys, Alvarp here. We are back in Monstrosity, the one map where I've died in 38 times, precisely. No more, no less. Unless this counter really sucks, and Minecraft is horribly screwed up. And so, we are going back to the Creeper Dungeon that did not kill me. Possibly the first dungeon ever that hasn't done that. Should be ashamed of itself. Or maybe we're just getting good. Who knows? Who knows? Got a lot more blocks. I got some torches. And we're going to keep our heads up. But I'm pretty sure that this place is more or less safe. And so we did that earlier. And I totally forgot that I could do that. And that I should bring an extra bucket. So we're going to check these chests. And hope that I brought an extra bucket. Because I don't play on this. Oh, I forgot my piston too. It's a sad day. I got two shots. I don't have my bucket. Let's, um... Let's dump the water out somewhere. Literally dump it too. There we go. That's the right button to press when you need to access your bucket. You. Um, get rid of everything that we don't need. I got a crap ton of blocks. Uh, I'm finishing up on the skeleton farm, so we will have more than two arrows on us. So I think what we're going to want to do for the area up here... Well, first, stop it, stupid lava. Move. There we go. I want a torch, torch, because... Um, we saw the spawner right down here. I think there was a spawner down here, at least. I was pre I'm pretty sure there was one. And how we're gonna have to take... We could take that guy out using TNT, just put it in the corner. But, I don't really want to have to do that. Because, if I could... If I ever really need gunpowder, I can just kind of... Hey, uh... Okay, evidently, this is not the source block. This is really weird to see. I don't think there's any creepers up here. Lock it off. And... Uh, I don't know what's up with that, but... Oh, is this the source block? That's the source block. Torch it up. Always torch it up. We get rid of you. And we're good. Taking a long time to break, though. I guess that means it's not silverfish. I am probably just so used to silver. Let's make sure we're not peaceful. We're not, because I'm getting to be a pro at this. Move your butt lava. Hurry up. Get out of here. There we go. Let me get these guys back. And then we see creepers. Uh, we see void. And we decide that there are supercharged creepers here, and they d I don't like them. But we blocked it off fast enough, so we're good. Now we just want to light it up. Um, do I have... I don't have the one thing that I would like to have. I got a feeling that if I didn't go up here, there would be supercharged creepers dropping on me from my head. So, it's a good thing I went here first. Now, we want to get rid of you guys. Hi. Um, I do not have a piston. Damn. She got me a piston. Drop the lava. Keep our distance. Oh, that's my torch. I don't like it when lava takes my torch. Let's not drop the lava. Undrop the lava. Like that's a word. There should be gravel right down there, so we can't even do that. We're going to have to have it on the, the far end after it all falls. We'll have to make those guys fall. There we go. Make those guys fall. Everything is under control. Everything is under control. Oh, does this have the same rule as um, water? Where if it's... I think it does. Hmm. 
can I... First of all, how bad is it? Uh, get ready to quick switch. There, there. Okay, so we can do that. This is very slow, but it's a thing. We don't want him exploding because that'll just break everything. So I'm not even going to risk aggroing him. I'm just going to shoot him with my two remaining arrows. So we are completely out of arrows now. But that's okay. I mean, actually, it's terrible, but I can deal with it, probably. Just like I dealt with everything else. Badly, but it works. Very badly, I should add. Right, so... Why don't we run back, and I will get some torches. Okay. Yeah, I will get some torches, and I will be right back. Okay, hello guys, I am back. I just saw a skeleton fall to his death, and I think that there's a spawner upstairs. I saw some little particles when I was coming down, but I don't really care about that, because, um, if they're giving me arrows, because I got two arrows again, that's a good thing. And if they're giving me arrows, so be it. They can do that as much as they want. So hopefully, I'm feeling a little bit of lag with my mouse where it's not quite keeping up with the rest of everything else, where there's a little bit of delay, which is what lag is, delay. But I'm feeling, I'm kind of feeling that way on my mouse, which is a bad thing, but, so hopefully that doesn't spread. Obviously that's not how lag works, but if there's lag one place, there's bound, there might be lag in more places, which could be bad. Hey guy. If you explode, I will murder you. Except for you're, all, you're already dead. So that sucks. Perfect. Kill them all. Make them burn. Make them all burn. And then we can just slowly expand our little wall thingamajigger. And push. So, then we got little things to look out of. Then we wait for the lava to despawn, which is the worst part of this entire setup. But it's just so effective, and I'm so crappily geared, that it's really my only option. So yeah. Well, actually, I'm not that badly geared, I just don't have a piston, which is... Which would be my preferred way to attack this. Good see that he's mostly locked in there, so we can just finish locking him in. I, when I say finish locking him in, I want to place the block on that face of the, the, your piece of crap cube. I'm not sure what's on the other side of this, but it's probably safe. I just didn't want him to um walk over here. So we have secured this place. Torch. 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 Actually, there's a torch right there. Let's torch there. Let me get rid of you. No, we can't. Any kind of darkness is now scaring the crap out of me, so that's always good. I'm scared. So, um, wooden sword, we don't need you. Projectile protection. So, this is a bunch of projectile protection. Instant health. Sharpness 2, fire aspect 2, knockback 2. Uh, versus sharpness 3, yes, we'll take you. Uh, projectile protection 3 and thorns 1. Why the hell not? Gearing up. Always good. Efficiency 1 and efficiency 1. Kind of useless in this situation, except for maybe with the, um... I guess it's not that useless, actually. Okay, uh, let's see if there's anything behind that painting. There's not. But, let's drop the lava. Because I will bet money. Actually, I don't like betting money. That might make me lose money. But we, there might just be a spawner like there was in the area below this. So I don't want to find out. 
and so we light it up like a smart person because that's what we do I wonder, can I even just loot those chests without even going there? That would be ideal, that way I don't have to. See, that's what I'm talking about. And then the lava keeps me safe. I right, start hearing the sizzle. Uh, I don't feel safe though. There's really nowhere they can spawn. Do they just decide, hey, let's just put one in each corner? Let's light that side up. Okay. Does that just go way back? No, it goes two blocks back. What the hell? Oh, well, that's weird. Block, block. Block. And this is definitely well lit. Right, shoes. Uh, feather Fong 3, which is useless here. Projectile Protection 2 or Fire Protection 2. We want Projectile. Well, actually, that's kind of useless here, too, so let's take, um, the last one. Fire. Yeah. And we don't need water stuff yet. Fire aspect 2, looting 1. All those creeps are making me nervous. And then you are weapons, I'm breaking one. I'm not going to pay anyone. Mm. Okay, let's, um, get everybody in one chest. We can all figure it out over there. How does that sound? Everybody happy? Good. Uh, uh, one sec. I will be back. I have to take that phone call. Sorry about that, guys. I'm back, though. As you can tell by the fact that I'm talking. So we're going to quickly just dump everything that we're not going to use right away. Along with some extra crap. Like this. This and this. And some other stuff. I probably should have just done this inventory management when I was still gone, but then I wouldn't be gone. But I probably should, still should have done that earlier. But again, it's okay. Hearing all those creepers just makes me think that there's one behind me every single second. I'm really nervous here. I might not be showing, but it's kind of scaring the crap out of me, and I really don't feel safe anymore. Uh, right, this is going to be useful with the bow and TNT possibly, but we don't have any those, so let's just get rid of all them. Uh, flint and steel, we can make them... I have a new tactic I want to try right now. Um, let's get that guy. We're going to literally make these creepers go to hell. We are going to make some nether portals. Oh yeah, there were a lot of them there. Let's wait for him to go poof. Whoa, shit. That's what the fire protection's for. I totally planned that. Come on, fire protection. Okay, so... I'm not quite sure how lava works. But I know... For my purposes here... We're pretty much going to have to place a block on it for it to despawn. Which is good because now we have total control. But it's also kind of bad because it could take a long, long time to do. And also I can't try to make them go to hell. Which sucks. I wanted to say, go to hell, creeper. And it'd be so literal that it would be beautiful. Um, break you. I heard something walking. Or was it just me? Probably just me. As in not my brain, but literally just me walking. Um, oh, we gotta drop down one more. Good thing we got all this sandstone, though. That is for sure. Yeah, I know how to drop down one more. Uh, there's a spawner right there. So that's not good. Oh, hey, guys. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Safety lava. And check the chest. Pain of arthropods, but it's... I think the yellow ones are, um, bad. I think it's the blue ones. I'm not sure. Um, because I'm running an outdated version of the map, uh, he fixed... Well, Fusion fixed this, so don't worry about it. But since I'm running an outdated version, um, there's some enchanted books that instead of giving you the enchant when you use them, they instead are enchanted with that. So for instance, if this... I'm not sure if this is one of the books, um, but basically if this was one of them, I instead of putting it on an object, I'd have to just punch it, punch the spider, and it would act as though it had... Hello, creepy looking guy. Or is that a painting? Uh, no, that's a creeper. We should kill him. And basically, so that that would I'd have to do that instead of actually use the weapon like a normal person would. That's all. So obviously, it's not going to let me enchant. Enchanting is not going to be as big of an element as it would be if it was made as intended. But that's fine. And then again, in future versions, that little bug does not exist. So. We are all good. And you, sir, need to die in a fire. So, go do that. Or something. Because I don't like you. You tried to blow me up. That is not a preferred way of death in my book. I totally placed two blocks there. You know what we got here? We got a fleecy wool. We get our fleecy. Yes, a fleecy wool. We got a fleecy box. Which means. We got the dungeon done. Which is good. Because I like winning. And that's the goal of the map. Is to win. I think I said that quote before. But it's a very true quote. I made that one up, though. I think, anyway. Nice. Iron Helmet. Carbonus 3. Perfect. These things are just raw. Perfect for enchants. Oh god, I'm gonna have a big haul when I gotta carry these guys up. Uh, what can I dump for a little while? This. You can make some torches and then have the same amount of inventory space occupied. Yes, that's how you make torches. A very wise decision. But... Yeah, we can dump this guy, this guy. Got a cobble generator, so it doesn't matter. So, we're good. And then, our inventory is full, so we're gonna have to dump one more thing. We'll dump the wheat. Thank you, good wheat. You served me well. And if this thing is trapped, or is not the real thing, I'm going to be very sad. And if it is the real thing, and I didn't die the entire time, I'm gonna be damn proud of myself. As I am, I am damn proud of myself. I made an entire wool without dying. And that's a very good thing. So, I will meet you guys on the monument. Or as I get exploded. Or when I'm lost. One of any of those. So I will be right back. Hey guys, uh, I'm back. I'm checking out the monument. So remember when I said I think there's a spawner here earlier? This, this right here, um, let's optifine into it is what I was talking about, where it's kind of there, that spawner, as I said there was a spawner there. So it should be, yeah, it's a skeleton spawner, so basically all it is, as I see it, is a source of arrows. So I'm, what I might actually set up is a little AFK shelter in this area that still activates the spawners, put some hoppers below it, and just set them up to pick up arrows. It'd be a super easy arrow farm. But mine's almost done, and so I'm going to build that thing anyway because Damn it, I want to finish it. I would be very proud of myself for finishing it. So, as um, day breaks and my clouds are on, as we must fix that. Make sure it's video settings. Sorry I'm doing this on screen. I don't know why I'm doing that. Details, blah, blah, blah. Is it quality? I don't know. We'll figure it out later. It doesn't look terrible. This place, I don't know why, but this... Even though it's got fire, it just looks like such a happy build because the color of the vines or something. I guess. So, I don't know. I like it. So I'm guessing it's another one of those extra wools. Just like the blazes were. Yep, light blue wool. Go here. 
Original birthplace. Oh, that makes sense. So what else? The hanging lava. Yeah, I haven't got most of these. What's in this guy? Nothing. So, mm, okay, we should do a thing. And I'm not sure what that thing is yet. Okay, I'm coming back to my base. And I think I might have an idea of what to do. We're going to do some enchanting. Because we get all this, um... A, things are being laggier than they typically w than they used to be. Which is sad, I know. And B, first of all, let's load up the gear. See, I... It's nice and organized here. I don't know why... It's not there. Oh, wait, we want swords first. I think we're going to need a chest just for swords. I should do that in the future. Because we got a lot of these guys. They're not exactly special, but... Wait, holy crap, sharpness four? I should see if I got an unbreaking book. Unbreaking, unbreaking book. Knock back three. I'm pretty sure Iron's got the desk best durability of the stuff I'm going to get. I doubt I'm going to get a diamond sword anytime soon. So we're going to want to use it on them. This is just building stuff, so let's just dump them over here. Make it. Actually, I think vert I don't think whatever kind of line I'm going to make is going to make much of a difference, but it looks nicer this way, I think. Hope we organize them by type and shape. This is my solution. I'm overthinking this by a lot. So... Right, next, we get to look at all the fun things we can do. Efficiency and Respiration 3. So first of all, break out protection 4. Why are you thorns 1? Get out of my life. Get out of my life. You are useless. Alright, and then, what else do we have? Why do we have the sticky person? That was that either of those things are supposed to be here. Get out. So we got efficiency three, respiration three, sharp is three. Bane of arthropods one. So I could try to make stones got more durability than um gold does. So I might want to just pump up this stone sword for now. Yeah, let's do that. So let's make ourselves a super stone sword. So let's give him Bane of Arthropods 1 and Sharpness 3. Who? Uh, we should give him a name too. Okay, so. Where did it go? Here it is. Alright, that guy's pretty good, but. How much does it cost to get Sharpness 3? First of all, let's call him. Uh, I don't know. Build a spider slayer? It sounds like you build a spot. The spider slapper? Swat? The spider? Ooh, that's got a nice ring to it. The spider smiter. That's, I like that ring. Costs 20 levels. It's much more important than getting sharpness 3. Let's just smash this down until we get a couple more levels. See how much it costs to chuck sharpness 3 on that thing? It costs 7. And seven sharpness three. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough, that's why I did this first. Even though I know it'll cost more to put it on now. Yeah. It costs twenty-two. So let's just smash that stuff down. And we only have five levels. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So I guess I don't really have too many ideas of what to do next, so I think I'm just going to cut off the episode here. No, it's a bit short, but that's because I did something instead of just died. And the last episode was kind of... long. So, uh, next episode I should be able to actually finish up the enchants, because I know I got a couple more um, things to get down there. So I'll do that too. When I say down there, I mean in the creeper dungeon, not just in the cobble generator that looks like crap. So I got a couple more things to get down there, and then I should also be able to finish our mob our, um, not our mob farm, the, um, skeleton spawner trap thing, grinder. And so if I finish those two things, I should have no problem getting any enchants. And I think, well, I already said that's it. So, I will see you guys next time. 
Um, next time, hopefully, I'm on the good computer again. This was just recorded the day after the last episode. Because I was all like, I'm pumped and stuff. Because I did good and I didn't die. It's two episodes in a row without dying. Hopefully we can keep that number up. See how long we can go. So, the episode after this, I think we're going to be back in that hellish dungeon. But, now that I've started using pistons, I don't plan on quitting. And I have some ideas for the next place. So, with that... I don't know if that counts as a cliffhanger. With that ending thing, we end.